So time kind of got away from me during yesterday's video and we didn't get to completely finish exploring the southeast coast down here. And there's a couple of feral pigs that I think are just moving into their zone. So before they actually spook, we're going to try to take that guy. I'm really not sure if the night vision scope is going to help or make things worse, but I wanted to do at least try it for some of these shots. They're going to be closer. But since we didn't get to hunt down here and since it's pretty much either my favorite or second favorite area for the feral pigs, I wanted to do a video completely focused on going after them because I think of the four new species on Te Auroa National Park, feral pig are probably the one we've gone after the least since the map actually came out. So this guy should be a guaranteed gold at level four. And much like the level four that we ended yesterday's video with, probably my least favorite fur type of all of them. And this one is called a dark brown as well. I don't know if they're gonna switch to brown hybrid, like maybe respawns are brown hybrid and it's just like a weird labeling thing. I'm not sure, but nice to start with the gold. And actually with his head up like that, sniffing the air, you can kind of see the tusk better. It's definitely good to see a good size herd of these already. And I think there's three males. There's two, another two, and actually a max weight four. So we are definitely gonna need the Argus scope for this. I don't think that one to four power is gonna help us at like 340 meters or whatever that was. And then should be that guy. So when he lifts his head, you probably want to stay like up high in his shoulder. Somewhere in that area. I'm not sure we got that. We hit him. Maybe it was too high. Try to save him. Don't think that hit him. Might have done enough. And apparently there was just another herd of them right off beside them. I hadn't even seen him, but that three's got a chance. That's only 250, so hopefully we can do a little better. I don't know if that actually was a hard shot because the 303's so overpowered, but I kind of tried to do that hard shot up under the chest, and he dropped anyway. And I just saw a screenshot recently that these, at least the pink variation ones, can be male. So we actually have to go through and spot stuff. I'm not sure if the spotted ones can, but definitely when we get the opportunity, we're going to spot everything because I don't know if it's a rare or just a super uncommon spawn or like what it is, but apparently that's a thing. Ooh, hi. That is something I've been waiting to see for a while. So glad that weren't called. I need to put the Argus scope on here. Okay, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> not right now. Okay. Uh, where was that? Where is... There he is right there. If he'll sit still. He's still calm, so I don't need to worry about him going into a burrow. Cool. That's not a thing that I thought was going to happen during this video, but one of the diamonds that I've been missing. Hopefully he's going to make it. I don't know if level 3 European rabbits troll. I imagine they can, because the other rabbit species uh, sometimes don't make it. But this guy is a diamond at 2.4, so pretty much right on the mark. But yeah, something I've been hoping to kind of get just as we go along here, not actually have to grind for a rabbit because just the way you hunt them specifically over the burrows, I feel like that would be kind of boring, but that's kind of a, a way to get around that. And if he's just going to come walking back here, respawns are definitely going to be a good thing. That time we got a little better shot and straight into a lung. Lots of dark brown fur types lately. I don't know where all them are coming from, but that's kind of what I thought happened. We got them just a little bit too high, and it looks like that should have made it into the lung, but maybe the shoulder blade stopped it. And then skull just on the follow-up, so kind of close to maybe saving it, but to be honest, as much as I love a cold feral pig, the diamond European rabbit right after was better, and I, I don't know. I guess things just, it's impossible to say what would have happened, but would I have gone up there by the burrows had I not hit him poorly? Maybe I just would have run straight to that spot? It's hard to say, but it definitely worked out well. That guy was a dark brown as well. I don't know, they seem to be super common all of a sudden. Maybe that is like the common fur type? Because again, it's common for like the wild boar. But that was liver lung, so not quite the harsh shot I wanted. I don't even know if it was possible. He might have needed to be like a little bit on a steeper angle, but... That little detour 
up to track our pig. Kind of as us press for time now. That's a dark brown as well. It's like every pig down here is that, but... I mean, again... We want to take him where we can for the respawns. I hope that guy dropped. I think he did. Or did he? Maybe we didn't get the brain? Nah, he's definitely run away still. Don't know where that hit him. That'll kind of speed it up. But again, we're taking detours. It's 5.30 now. The early zones end at 6. So, that's... If I can do math in my head, less than 10 real minutes until some of them are going to start to leave their zone. So I'm not sure we're going to make it all the way down there. We'll get close enough. And then I still wanted to actually go and check this spot because on the beta there was one zone there. We might as well try to hit everything since we're focusing on them. I don't even know where these guys came from. There's another max estimate 4. They came running out of down there. I thought I could see anything that would have been there, but at least they ran up by us. More rabbits. Guess we gotta take a quick look just because of how well that went a minute ago. But I can't spend too long if I want to get a shot at the pigs running by, so didn't see anything special. Kind of okay with what we have now. Maybe a rare would be nice somewhere in the lodge, because I don't think I have any rare rabbits. I guess I have the one albino jackrabbit in a multi-mount with the coyotes. But Maybe that's something we can do with the European rabbits. Anyway, I think the way they're going, you gotta get a chance right up here. Maybe not the best angle. That might be liver at worst. He went down pretty quick. And where's the other one? There's that three that he actually has a really good estimate. We did this once. Not gonna do quite as well as we did on the beta and drop it, but... Again, we got something. Like, I guess at the end of the day, it's more about respawns than getting the score of these ones that aren't going to make diamond. And we are pressed for time, but maybe actually potential thumbnail pictures. I like that with the sun in the background. And we'll get running again just to save a little bit of time, but 120. It's not a bad sized pig, and at least it's not a dark brown. It's pretty much all we had today, and that did just get into the liver. Otherwise, we'd have had a silver out of him. And I mean, he was close to gold, but still would have been just a silver, so not even losing out on that. And at least the, the vertebrae and intestines brought him down quick enough that we didn't really have to go off our path. I mean, we're pretty much going to make it down here before any even of the early ones would leave. That was more difficult than expected, but I don't know if we spooked this guy or he actually had a drink zone in this area. That was a quick drop. I don't know where we hit him. But I had his tracks going down here towards the end, so actually worth coming all the way to here. And I gotta go and get that lookout yet, so I don't think we're gonna make it to the other zones in time. I wanna check. We'll probably fast travel to here to change the time, because there was one on the beta right over there by that bridge. And pigs are kinda slow moving, so if there are any over there, they might still be there. But at least, again, respawns out of this guy, and that's a vital hit. Got him spinal cord and lung, that makes sense. And he was right at the top of his estimate, so at least he's not bad. But let's go and check there. And if there's nothing going on there, I think this might be actually the last place I wanted to go. And it doesn't look like there's any feral pig zone by the bridge. So we'll change the time. And actually, I think that this lake as well we should check, because we did shoot the max estimate for in that area yesterday. And there's probably other pigs to drink there that we didn't see. So we got at least one that's just probably walking into its zone. Any kind of bonus ones we can get on the way there is going to be good. Because I think these are more burrows actually, but when we came here on the beta, there was just the ones at the end. And again, just a silver, but anything for respawns helps. I feel like maybe if there is a diamond feral pig just waiting on the map, this spot or this spot's going to be about it. Because we've seen most of the other herds by now that would be here, but if there's not one, the amount of pigs we shot today might help. Just about thought there was only going to be one, but I actually looked past that guy. I mean, the closer one is a little bit bigger. There's no way we're going to get back to way without spooking him. So, if we can actually get a decent shot at him, he's not going to make gold no matter what. So we'll just go for the brain shot. And that guy... 
we might as well try. Once he slows down a little bit, we can see if we can maybe make some kind of decent shot, but then we'll just throw a round or two at him to get him down quicker. The only hope there was Spinal Cord. So at this point, just kind of speeding it up. I think we hit him all three times though. And it's a good thing we can know that even though we just basically ended up with two bronzes, we can maybe be working towards something with the respawns because otherwise coming down here wasn't the uh, best thing as far as scores. So at least we got both. And if nothing else, it is pretty much light out. It's 502. So we'll go and visit this lake. And I know I said it in yesterday's video, I only had one feral pig drink zone on the beta, but curious to see what it's going to be like in the live game. I'm actually surprised at just the number of max estimate fours we've seen. Because I feel like they're pretty proportional to the wild boar as far as like number of high scoring ones. And I don't feel like you see a lot of max estimate boar, at least I don't. Maybe I just don't get very lucky with them. But I think that's the third one just today. We might as well take advantage of any other males walking around for respawns. We've been talking about that pretty much the entire video. By the way, once again, dark brown fur type. That guy's 135 though. About nine shy of diamond at 177. I haven't paid too much attention to the diamond weights on the feral pigs that have been posted. I know the one that we killed on the beta was in the 190s, which I guess is about right. But it feels like if that guy's only 177 and that close to diamond, you wouldn't have to have that much above the max estimate, so probably they're a good one to follow max estimate tracks then. But we're starting to get quite a good number of pigs down in this video now. I think we're close to 15. That guy was double lung liver, kind of walking at 220, let him pretty much perfect to get that. And honestly, already this thing's done more than I thought it would. Wait a minute. Okay. Guess there's a it's going to end up being a third one from this area because the one we shot yesterday that we tracked was right by this lake, so he may be down here drinking somewhere. Don't want to take things too quickly just yet, but maybe there's still hope for a diamond pig in this video? Man, I thought for a second that was going to be him, and I had talked about the the black gold actually being one that I sort of overlooked for potential favorite uh, fur type. It's got me wondering, that one that's warning calling, none of those guys are him, but this lake definitely is better than I thought then because there's got to be at least one drink zone back here because we just shot the two and it looks like unless the one that just warning called isn't in a zone yet there should be minimum I think three more because there was the black gold there's actually even more over there in the same zone again though none are the one that we have a track from so maybe that was his warning call I don't think it was so where is he? I mean, at this point, I guess we'll take this guy. If we're spooking the max estimate one, it's not really a huge deal, because, again, they don't go that fast. But I think we're going to take advantage of every opportunity we have here. And actually, one thing I'm seeing is that the pigs in this area are spread out really well. And that's just going to make it ideal for kind of going for respawns in this area, just kind of shoot everything where the next herd is 200 meters plus away, and they're not going to hear it. But I see no max estimate pigs. I'm not really sure where that guy is. Oh. Not only is that a max estimate, that's a level 5. He's only up to 153, which is not huge. Brown hybrid fur type. Really hope that guy has a chance. Did not uh, really think he might make it, but I guess you never know. Especially with fresh spawns like this, but he should stop. That is going to be a lung hit, so we should be good. Forget everything I said about respawns and needing that. Apparently there's just a five hanging out here the whole time. Man, that's got to be so close. He's .3 shy of diamonds, so... I guess the good news is... All the work that we've been doing for respawns is actually... Hopefully eventually going to be worth it, because... That guy did not make it. 0.3 away. I mean, going back to talking about wild boar for a minute, they seem to do that a lot, and I've had a good number of trolls, like, fairly recently. So that just kind of goes right along with it, but 
Maybe the one good thing with that is that's not super high on my list of fur types that I want to get a diamond of. I'd rather, I mean, I just mentioned the black gold or the brown. It's definitely better than dark brown. I'm really struggling with the brain shots on these guys. That might speed it up a little. And rather than going and tracking that guy and then coming back down, since we're pretty much in a good spot to shoot the black gold, we'll go ahead and go for him. It's a good thing that was 240 because when he put his head down, his hitbox for the lungs would have changed a lot and probably just about missed him. But these guys stayed. That one's up to 102. That's another black gold there. I don't know if I spotted him. Can I get a spot on that? He's actually a three with a good estimate. That's the one I want to take, but we got no angle on it, so I guess after we track the other, we'll go over there. We're going to be real close to 20 pigs by the time we're done with this, because we got one more to claim and then a second one to hopefully shoot and then claim. But if we look at our latest harvests, we have the rabbit there, but I think we've killed 16. Hopefully 18 by the time we're done. It might not have been the best idea to sneak straight in. I kind of thought we'd be able to get a longer shot, but they're kind of easy to stock up to, quite honestly. I haven't tried that hard, just been crouching along. I think that's the brown hybrid, so... Oh yeah, I can see the black gold. Getting a shot is kind of another matter, but... Maybe if we just sort of move around? I don't know if that's enough. You should give us something here. Hopefully. That should work. And if we're quick enough, we almost had a lung shot. We actually hit him. So now we gotta get that guy, whichever one we shot, which I don't know which one it was. Can't be that one. That guy. We'll just bring him down and I think we're at 19 now. If it wasn't for the fact that we shot a European rabbit, I would definitely go and get a 20th, but we're not going to have the whole thing filled with uh, feral pigs anyway, so... Another black gold. A gold black gold, even at 98. Actually, barely by point two, so we just barely made gold and just barely missed diamond. I'd kind of prefer that to be the other way around, but kind of the way it goes. Caught him in the leg as he was ducking away, but we still get to go back to the trophy lodge because we did get the diamond hero rabbit, which... It was kind of something I thought might take a while, so that was definitely good. And our rabbit wasn't super close to missing diamond. He was 2.45, so a good bit over the minimum. That is quite a size difference that I didn't realize. I don't know if laying down is a pose for these. Doesn't seem like it is. There was one that was close, but maybe that will be closer to similar in size. I can't believe how much smaller they are. It's no wonder they hide that well. So I had planned on when we shot the diamond scrub hair about a month ago. Eventually, when I got the diamond European rabbit, it was going to go to this spot, but that almost looks off. I think what we'll do is steal this guy. And I think this is a scrub hair as well. We'll take that one down, put it in that place, and put the little European rabbit in here. I definitely think that was a good decision. This little dude just kind of like peeking out of the gun display. I think that works way better. And then it just, it makes more sense to me having like the sizes match for these rabbits on the little desk. So they look the same. They're a different fur type. This one's brown and this one's chestnut. I kind of wish they looked a little bit different. I can't even tell, but I like the sizes matching and getting the diamond European rabbit. That's one more species we didn't have in the lodge as a diamond out of the way. So I think other than the two new ones that we don't yet have from New Zealand, we're missing moose, musk deer, and red fox. And then of course, the ones from New Zealand, had we gotten the diamond on that level five pig today, there would just be the one. But we have the feral pig and the chamois that we're missing. And hopefully we can replace this wild boar with a diamond feral pig, maybe next time we go after them. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.